Hello, welcome to my office. I am a clinical documentation specialist at Boulder Community Hospital. This is my office. I have a special guest today and we will be discussing the CDS program. I am a doctor here at Boulder Community Hospital. May I ask what kind of work do you do in here? I am so glad you asked. I am a nurse and I help the doctors to document their care using terminology that can be coded correctly at discharge. May I ask why is this an important thing to do? Doctor. Accurate documentation is important because it will reflect the patient's true severity of illness and the level of care that was received. Wow, that is important work. Yes, it is. Bravo. Please, tell me more. What else would you like to know about the CDS program here at Boulder Community Hospital? What is the financial benefit of this program for Boulder Community Hospital? Well, doctor, by accurately documenting the care we provide, the hospital can bill for the level of care that was received and get reimbursed appropriately by government and private insurance companies. I am very impressed by this important work that you are doing. I am a doctor. How can I help you to do this important work? I am so glad you asked. The CDS nurses review the progress notes during the current hospital stay, and if we discover a diagnosis that needs to be clarified or more specific we will ask the doctor a question that we call a clarification. How will I know if there is a clarification for me? We send it electronically now. I can receive a clarification electronically? Yes. After I review your clarification question, and I agree that the patient is being treated or evaluated for this diagnosis. What do I need to do so that my documentation reflects this diagnosis? Doctor, it is very important that you document this diagnosis in your progress notes using the exact wording that we put into our clarification. As CDS nurses we are proficient in using the correct diagnosis terminology called ICD-9, which can be accurately coded at discharge. What are the most common documentation clarifications that are asked? Doctor, there are many diagnoses that need to be documented with greater specificity to accurately reflect the severity of illness and the level of care that the patient received. Can you give me a few examples? Yes, when a diagnosis of CHF is documented, it needs to be further specified as acute or chronic, and systolic or diastolic, or any combinations of both. What? Please tell me more. Doctor, acute CHF is a severe condition and requires a high level of evaluation and treatment. Documenting the severity and type of CHF will accurately describe the patient's severity of illness and level of care provided. Another example is documentation of anemia. If the patient has an acute anemia condition due to blood loss, it is necessary to document this as acute blood loss anemia. Post-operative anemia is not specific enough according to the coding rules, and will not reflect the acute nature of the anemia that may require frequent lab tests, or possibly transfusion. The correct way to document this type of anemia is, acute blood loss anemia. After discharge, the patient's chart is sent to medical records, and all diagnoses are coded according to the coding rules. If a diagnosis is not documented according to these rules, it cannot be coded and we are not able to bill for and get reimbursed by insurance providers for the level of care that we have provided. Is it important for me to also write this diagnosis in the discharge summary? Yes, it is very important to continue to document this diagnosis in the discharge summary. Continue to use the terminology we have provided in the clarification. If my diagnosis is already in the problem list, why do I need to write it again in my progress notes? I am a very busy doctor. Doctor. All diagnoses must be supported by documentation in the progress notes and discharge summary. If a diagnosis exists only in the problem list without mention in the progress notes or discharge summary it cannot be coded. So I need to include in my progress notes all diagnoses for acute and chronic conditions that are treated or evaluated during the current hospital admission? Yes. What do you feel is the most important thing for me to tell my colleagues about the CDS program? Please tell your fellow physicians to look for the CDS clarification questions and if you agree with the diagnosis clarification, document this in your progress notes. If I do not agree with this clarification, should I just ignore it and do nothing? Um, no. 
If you do not agree, or if there is another diagnosis that you feel is more appropriate, please document this clearly in your progress notes. We are required to follow up on all unanswered clarifications. To prevent a follow-up phone call or being paged during your busy schedule, I recommend that physicians answer the clarification questions as soon as they are received. You must use your independent professional judgment when you review our clarification question. Our job is to let you know that a diagnosis needs further clarification and how to write this in the correct coding terminology. Thank you for explaining how important accurate documentation is and how the physicians can help you to do this important work. I enjoyed having you visit me at my office today. It made me very happy, and I think I would like to dance now. What are you doing? This is the end of the video and I am happy and I dance. You can dance too. Okay, I will bust a crazy move right now. Watch this move. I think we both deserve a round of applause for doing such important work for Boulder Community Hospital. Come and visit anytime doctor. Thank you miss. I believe I will dancing makes me very happy.